So, I'm back with another Risk of Rain 2 video. This time I figured I would try Simulacrum, which is a mode that plays pretty differently from the main mode. Compared to the main mode, it's more of like a horde type mode, um, where you just sort of battle waves of enemies that pro get progressively tougher. You do still collect items and everything here, uh, but it doesn't have sort of the standard game progression, so the way you approach it is quite different. Like, when I play the normal mode, I'm always thinking about how I'm going to beat the final stage. But since the final stage isn't a thing here, I sort of want to build a little bit differently. Certain items are much better in this mode compared to the main game. How are we doing on money? Oh, we can take one of these items. If I take a coffee. I'm playing the Commando, who is kind of an all-rounder. I think he's actually one of the best for the standard mode, because he has very high initial mobility. Uh, that's not quite as powerful here, but it never hurts. So what's in this one? Medkit is good. Um, I think we'll just take the medkit as soon as we have the money for it. The stages here are based on the stages from the main game. So this is Abandoned Aqueduct. Though the enemies that spawn can be different. Like, you don't normally see leeches on this stage. Uh, so something I talked about before is that I'm playing this game with mods, and here I actually have a mod that makes a more significant difference to this mode, um, which is when you complete a wave here, it would normally drop something called a Void Potential, which allows you to choose from three different items. I have a mod that makes it so you only get a single item after that, which actually makes this mode way harder. Um, I sort of feel that the Void Potentials generally make this mode significantly too easy, because they allow you to see three times as many items, which means you get three times as many reds, uh, three times as many greens, and you can optimize your build like very heavily, somewhat similar to when playing on command. Uh, it generally allows you to massively outscale the difficulty of the mode, and you eventually just get to the point where you're all powerful and the mode gets boring. Uh, with it set to give you only a single item, it plays much more like the standard game, and it remains challenging throughout. So I think it plays much better this way. Okay. What we get this time? Healing is decent. I would like to be able to open this. Even though there's a bunch of other things around here, that has like the highest potential value. Okay. Well, we, uh, uh, we don't get a free use item for this. We'd actually have to die to get it. Or I would have to have one already. Ouch. One thing I don't really have so far is damage. I have decent mobility and healing, but I have no extra damage output yet. I was hoping for something weak to spawn here. Okay, there's a beetle. Because I basically want something I can camp um, while I'm trying to rub the chance chest. So I need something that doesn't do too much damage. Okay. So let's kill all but one beetle. And now we can just try to use this thing. What do we got? Leptin. I probably should have taken the crit glass, to be honest. He could hit me a few times, it's really matter. Okay, crit scythe is really good. We'll take that. Okay. Now we just grab anything else that we can. That's probably the priority right now. I think there was one more chest over here, too. Yeah, there is. Okay. Well, we got the boss wave. I don't really have a lot of good stuff yet, so this might be a bit difficult. Oh, there's something over there, too. Might not be able to get to that, though. Well, we're just gonna have to play smart. 
something I gotta watch out for here is that a lot of these enemies are shielded. Um, so I want to try to focus them down so they don't get their shields back over and over, which will present, prevent me from ever killing them. I don't want to be in the middle like this. This is bad. Out. Oh boy. That's a rough start right now. Okay, we may actually have to focus on like taking down some cool little stuff first. The shielded enemies can wait. I don't want to be like taking free damage from stuff that's up top. Yeah, this is a rough spawn. I think we can get through it though. Okay. Not looking too bad right now. I mean, there's a million things behind me, but they're mostly things I can avoid. The bigger danger here is going to be making sure I don't run out of time. Really need to get my hands on some crowd control or other forms of damage. We're likely going to end up running out the clock here. I don't sort of see any way I kill all this in time. Okay, we got all the really scary enemies down. We now just start picking off some of the little garbage. We want those dead because we don't want Ice Horus hitting me. Oh, there's another Ice Aura. That thing's down. I'm actually surprised we're not out of time yet. Maybe we will kill everything after all. Oh, if that's the case, I should... Uh oh, there it goes. Okay, we want to grab this real quick. See you guys. You guys can get drained down by the damage. So when you start to run out of time, the zone starts to shrink, and it damages both you and the enemies. So the fact that they came to chase me out there actually made that a lot easier. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, where was that last item? It's right there. Let's get that and get out of here. Speed is always great. Oh boy, where are we going? We're going this way. So I would have been able to get that item anyway. Yeah, I should mention that like on every fifth wave, this thing moves. Um, and like the, the damage zone is still active. If I go out there, I'm going to get hurt. Uh, but I'm going to do that right now to grab this. Ah, stealth kit. That's lame. Would have liked something better out of that. But you never know, stealth kit could pay off. Okay. Down here. Where is this thing going? No, don't go past this. There's all tons of good items here. Where are you going? Oh, well, I mean, I'd be fine with this, too. Can we set down, please? Okay, good. Ah, oh, there's some interesting stuff here. Ooh, we like that. There's a platinum card in there. That allows you to buy all the items from Tri Shops. That's a good way to get powerful in a hurry. There's also a void item here, which I suppose I can just open up. Ooh, that's interesting. I wonder if I want that. That's a very interesting question. Ah, this ukulele is so good here, but it is also just a lot more damage. That's a very tough call. I feel like whatever I pick, I'm going to end up regretting it. We'll leave it there for now, and we'll see if I find another good source of single target damage. Because one of the other things about that Polyloot is that it's just a second ukulele, basically. And that's still good on its own. Supermassive Leech is pretty useless. I mean, I guess I could pick it up and gamble with it when Enigma comes along, if it comes back, but... Generally one of the worst to use items. Let's grab this item here. Oops, I went too far. And we'll open this. Let's now get back to the middle. It's a crowbar. Um, that doesn't really change much. Ooh, that might be a big deal, though. What is that? That's Raincoat, which is terrible. Alright. One of the worst reds. 
So I still don't see much that influences my decision on the polylude. What's this? Shield generator. Also pretty bad. So far, the ukulele is just getting so much value that I feel like it's hard to get rid of it. Oh, get off. Okay. There's another item over here we could grab. It's a big box. Anything good? Chrono Bobble. Useful, but still doesn't change a lot. Hmm. That's decent. I still really don't have anything that sort of makes it obvious what I would take. There's a teddy bear. What else? Oh, I would get the platinum card, of course, because I could have all three of them. Let's just pick this up now. Before I forget to pick it up. So far, I kind of feel like crowd control is more important than single target damage. Even for the boss waves, they typically summon a lot of enemies where you would want the crowd control. So I think I may end up skipping that polylude. That's. no, oh, that almost hit me. Like, the ukulele is just doing so much right now. Not that Polylude isn't also really good, but I just think I need this slightly more here. I wish we had the Recycler so we could just change it to something else. That'd be a huge deal. Well, let's see what this is. Pennies. Alright, well, let's go help ourselves to the Tri Shop. Uh, Platinum card is so busted. Alright. Let's just deliberately take some damage to get another heal. Do it again. I think actually my only remaining damage is the, uh, the shield. Okay. I was trying to do a lot of damage. Actually, getting that fire does help out with my crowd control. That actually makes the polyloot slightly more considerable. Once again, we're low on enemies. We can take a bit of a look around. Anything interesting out here? I know I did see another item on the way by, but I don't think I have any way of getting back there. What'd we get this time? Another crowbar. Oh no. So every 10 waves, the enemies get an item, and they got the um, the tougher times. One of the worst possible things for them to get, because now they block like one fifth of my attacks, and it's going to be that way for the entire rest of the event or the uh, the thing. You know what? Based on that, I am going to pick this up. If they're going to be blocking everything, I'm going to need the extra damage. We'll see if I regret that decision. I mean, so far I'm still killing stuff pretty well. Yeah, these blocks are going to get real annoying real fast. Like, dealing with something like this without the poly loot would be really annoying.
this is still looking all right. I don't feel like we are really suffering for that decision yet. Like, that went pretty well. Okay, well, we got one last chance to take a quick look around. I'll jump out here real quick. Um, I wonder if I can grab this. I probably can, actually. We just need to get back fast. Okay. I can hit that, but I'm not going to be able to grab it. I'll have to heal a bit first. So we'll just use this to heal up. It's a precious watch, which I'm undeniably going to end up breaking soon, but... That's probably enough. Did I actually see one more item out there? I feel like I did. There's also a lunar pod, which is interesting. We'll try opening that. I don't know what lunar items I would actually take other than ruin, but... It never hurts to look. Okay, what's in the lunar pod? It is egocentrism. That would be hysterical, but it's clearly a really bad idea. That progressively converts all of your items into itself, which it then makes into little bombs. Um, yeah, there's one more item out here. I should not be doing this. Okay, we need to get back immediately. We did it. I've actually got a lot of speed right now. Is there anything else around here? Like, is there anything? Oh, there is one on the other side of this wall. Let's get a little bit more health. Ah, uh, that's probably healthy enough. We're getting a lot of items here, which is nice. Ooh, tri-tip is really good. Although that is more like single target damage. Okay, well, I think we've got enough. Yeah, we're looking pretty good right now, I think. Anything interesting over there? No, it's time to leave. There's actually no time in this mode, so the amount of time I spend doing this actually doesn't matter. Oh, we didn't grab our Berserker Instincts. Okay, Predatory Instincts, whatever. Okay. What do we got? Oh boy, lasers. Well, lasers are a very good source of money. I've already got enough to open two of these chests. Thank you for money! If you're wondering why I'm getting money, it's because I have the lucky pennies item which causes you to gain a little bit of money every time you take damage. And the laser hits over and over and over again, so you get tons of money. Ooh, hello, green red item. We like that. There's also a tri shop over there. This is looking like a pretty good start. But a lot can still go wrong. Ooh, that's great too. How expensive is that? It is 141. Okay. Oh, there's another Lunar. Let's see what it is. The Lunar is the replacement to your secondary ability. That's interesting. But that's considerable, honestly. I don't know if I want that. Oh, hi there. But it wouldn't be insane to take that. I think my regular secondary is better. But I mean, you certainly could take that on this character. Okay. How are we doing on money? Actually, surprisingly not that great. Better after picking those up. Fusion is nice. Oh, there you are. Another try tip. This is looking good. I'm really nicely fast. Ooh, what's that over there? Printers. There's a void cauldron. I kind of want that. One other really nice thing about my secondary is the Shattering Justice based on the number of hits you do. So my secondary actually activates it instantly. 
You'll notice they get the broken armor the second they get touched by that. Oh boy. Okay. When there's not too many enemies left, I'm gonna go grab that boy, Coltrin. Oh, hi there. Stop that. Let's see what it is. I gotta get back in there fast. So that's a lot of damage. Oh, I can't believe that broke my watch. It's another polyloot. Okay, well now I feel alright about the chance the choice to take it earlier. Okay, let's just get some quick healing. I knew that watch wasn't gonna last, so I'm not too broken up about it. Ooh, there's a printer for crit blasts out there. Oh, hi there. I didn't know you guys were still alive. How many white items do I have that I wouldn't be willing to lose? A decent number, actually, but I might gamble once. It's far, though. Yeah, it's a little risky. Maybe I'll leave it. So you'll notice, like, right now, I'm pretty powerful, even with the reduced power of not having the Void Potentials. We're still keeping up with the mode, but we have been a little bit lucky with drops. But, like, if we had Void Potentials, I would be, like, already unstoppably powerful by this point. And then it would just be like, well, let's do another 100 waves until something one shots me. Okay, what'd we get? Armor plate is decent. So is there anything else out here I can grab? Anything over here, maybe? So I can actually sort of look up top a little bit. There is a fry shop up there. Let's quickly grab this. Okay, we gotta get back in there. Uh, did I get all three items? I hope I did. Hi. Well, they'll actually come close to me and hurt themselves doing it. So I'm okay with this for a bit. Oh, I don't like him hurting that close, though. Okay, I'm in a lot of danger now. We need to get back immediately. We're fine, probably. We're gonna have to take some deliberate hits to get more health kit procs. Okay, help can help me. That was probably a little too brave, but we're fine, probably. Alright. Oh man, I don't like to see this many elders. But I'm starting to get pretty healed up. Oh boy. This is not a good situation. We want out of here immediately. We're just gonna go around the loop again. Pretty good way to lose enemies because they have to go outside to chase me. Ow. I like way less of this. Spawning guys right on top of me, it's very annoying. Okay, well we finally got to the point where they're not spawning enemies anymore. Glad to have that thing dead. Okay, we have this. Nothing is too serious left. Okay. Very little left now. Done. Okay, off we go. Where are we going this time? Oh dear. 
Please don't go through the wall. He's going to, I think. Oh, no, I guess not. We can actually jump back up. It's hard. Anything interesting over here? I guess I can just stay on foot. I'm really fast. So... Uh, there was a, is that a big box? No, it's regular. Probably too dangerous to try to grab that. Ooh, I want this, though. Can I get back to it? Oh, man, do I want that. I think I can get it. This is one of the best items in the game. And it lets me be so much more aggressive at trying to grab stuff. Okay, we really do not want to fall off the stage here. Yeah, that was running fungus. Now I constantly heal whenever I run. This is easily one of the game's best items. Okay, we can actually just take a moment here to grab the other one, because it's really close. It's another running fungus. Well, that was a huge power boost. No more having to farm uh, health boosts out of the med kit. And I can also now be more aggressive at going outside the zone because I can constantly heal myself while doing it. I can actually still use a little bit more damage. I'm not killing things quite as quickly as I'd like to be. I'm very sustainable and fast right now. But I wouldn't say no to a little more damage output. Okay, that's enough out of you guys. <laughs> we got even more speed. Well, it combos well with the running fungus. I can actually outrun the nuggets now, that's funny. question is going to be how long do I try to keep the platinum power? At some point I'm going to want to switch it out for an item that actually does something during combat. It's just sort of a matter of how greedy am I. The answer is usually barely. Oh, hi there. Don't like seeing that. Oh, we're doing pretty good damage. anything interesting over here? I didn't actually really look. It's possible that there could be something above me, but I would have to go touch that vent to get up there. We can probably take a quick look, but I do have to be careful. Okay, is there anything interesting up here? Just one item. Oh well, we'll take it. More speed! I'm so fast. I'm actually going to be getting to be, like, uncontrollably fast soon. There is a certain limit to how fast you want to be. Because now if I use my slide, it's going to go, like, ridiculously far. Oh boy. That's a bunch of stuff. Crystal. Well, that's good for the uh, secondary. Uh, I don't like the fact that I don't see anything. Oh, there they are. If it takes a long time to spawn something, it sometimes means that they're going to spawn something really powerful. I 
to jump into that damage zone. Ah, oh, not this again. which is what is going to be the second item that they get. They're going to get another item on the next wave. Hopefully it's not something awful. Are those ones up top? Where are they? They're right there. Ow. Okay. Oh, double jump is really nice. Alright, what is it? That's totally fine. That item is completely useless for them. Oh, hi, an actual boss. Well, we're gonna get a test of my DPS here. I don't want to, like, oh boy, uh, sort of tunnel vision him too much, because I don't want to get swarmed by other enemies either. But, oh boy, this is not nice. Too much stuff here right now. Good thing I'm super fast. Oh wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. Okay, we kind of got to get out for a bit. I can heal by running around, so we got to use that. I need these laser things, Dad. There's way too many of them. They're starting to bring me down. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, we're doing the loop again. Oh boy. Yeah, there's a lot of bad stuff happening right now. Nice try, up. I knew that was coming. I saved my jump. Oh, boy. I think that boss could end up being the last thing that I kill. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, that's real bad. What hit me? I think it was some of these things. Oh, it's all this junk up there. Oof. This is a real bad wave. We need some of these flyers dead. Okay, well, the enemies are trying to chase me outside, which is nice. Because they're actually taking damage doing it. Oh, ow, that was a lot of damage. We're getting some of these stupid alpha constructs out of there. Oh, no. I'm falling off the stage. That's a lot of damage. But at least I can fall off in the zone. I'm alive with 10 health. Not great. But hey, we lived. Uh, we're healing. Okay, that one's dead. That guff is broken, which is good. The boss killed itself, so that's helpful. Because it actually tries to run away from you, so I guess it dies a lot here. Okay. We've got some of the annoying stuff dead. We want rid of these alpha constructs. Because they're messing with my ability to run around. Okay, looking not bad now. That's the alpha constructs gone. We should have this. Just gotta watch the clock now. Yep, there it goes. Um, is there anything that's gonna outlast me? There shouldn't be. We're fine. Oh, this is an alpha hunter thinking me. Better. We got it. Ow. We won. A bit dicey, but we got it. A fuel cell is useless right now, but might be good eventually. So anything I could grab? Doesn't really look like it. There's a yellow printer, but I have no way of interacting with it. Let's just go. Definitely need to see more damage soon. Okay, anything interesting around us? I guess I have no money, but... Okay, it's a big box right there. There's a try shop over there. Is that a try shop? That is another try shop. It's pretty good stuff here. I feel like this stage is often actually pretty hard, so... I'm gonna do our 
our best here. Yeah, there's a lot of these things, and they're always annoying. At least I'm fast. That's so many. Why are there so many? I do not have the damage for this right now. At least I'm fast enough that they can't easily hit me. Get those healers out of there. Okay, no more undoing my hard work. Alright, we've got this first wave at least. That's probably pretty good money. Alright, before I kill the last one, let's go grab some stuff. Oh, that's incredible. One of the best items for this character. Um, we can probably go grab some of this. Two focus crystals and a war banner. Oh, hey, look, it's the rusty lockbox. We actually found it. Usually pretty difficult. What just dropped? Betty Bear. the game since the DLC drop knows. These are- oh god, why am I stuck? These are the worst enemies in the game. Why am I stuck? Okay, we're moving again. I don't know what's happening there. Maybe they like immobilized me with something? Does one of them have the slowdown? Oh, ow. Okay, this is gross. This is like the worst case scenario. There's so many healers too. Well, this is gonna be a while. At least we got the healers out. We're starting to get them. Oh, stop blocking you jerks. Okay. Well, we kind of got this back under control. Get those things out of there. Okay. Well, that was entirely too many of those. Alright, what can we go pick up around here while we're waiting for these close-range enemies to die? Ooh, we love that. Anything over there? There is an item up there. There's a healing box below me as well. I can probably also grab it. Oh, I didn't get the item. That's annoying. Gotta hurry up. Okay, we'll heal up a bit. Oh, it's shrinking. Okay, I better get back in here. Okay. I think that's everything. Let's actually go pick up that item that I paid for but didn't get. Oh, where was it? Oh, it's right there. Ah, okay, let's not get stuck. Oh, not again. Hopefully there are... Yes, oh, there's healing leads again, of course. Alright. They've kind of been dealt with. Over an eye too, but at least they're on the ground. I'd love to see another gasoline sometime. Could be quite powerful with another one of those. I 
having movement speed is really important. Yeah, we're already on to only seven enemies left. That's a pretty easy wave. So we're going to be facing a big question soon. There is a try shop containing used items over there. Um, and if they are good, I might want to consider one. Where was it exactly? It's right here. What is in this? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Ooh. I'm going to grab that. Let's get back over there. Goodbye, Impa Overlord. Thank you for Shadow Screen. Uh, where is it? Okay, I, yeah, I don't know if I got the item yet, but we definitely want that. That's the best item in the game for this character. Do I have the Shadow Screen? I don't yet. So it's around here somewhere. And it better have actually dropped. It is possible for it to glitch out and fall through the stage. It'd be really lame if that happened. But I actually don't see it. There it is. Okay, we got it. Okay, now every time I do a critical, anything with a critical on it explodes. So I'm now, like, unimaginably powerful. That was the absolute best item we could have gotten. I am probably almost unstoppable now. You know, just, like, notice that everything is just getting obliterated. Yeah, goodbye, everybody. Like, every critical now uh, bleeds enemies, and when a bled enemy dies, it explodes. Okay, we want to go as quickly as... Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Uh, okay, well, we'll grab this. Okay, well, that's a red. Aegis is amazing, too. Um, but I want to get back over to those use items, because, like, I obviously don't want to keep the used-up tricorn. What are our other options? Um, we could just take this back. Tesla coil's pretty good. Like, honestly, nothing else there is that amazing. I might just keep my card. But that tricorn was really good value there. Like, I mean, I could consider a Royal Capacitor. Maybe if we head back that way, I'll pick it up. But right now, getting that Shatter Spleen made a huge difference. We're not going back that way. Oh well. We'll have other chances to get used items. And it's not like I don't have a lot of stuff to make Rogue Pastor really powerful anyway. You'd want like crowbars and stuff. There's also another tri shop over there. Disposable missile launcher, what else is in it? Foreign fruit. Actually not the most insane thing to consider because I have HS. That's pretty good, too. There's a uh, Void Cauldron there. Are we setting down here? We are. Okay. I can probably hit this thing and get back. That's another uh, Hustling Buckus. Okay. Well, let's just run around and get some help. Ah, oh, oops. Okay, what's in this? Disposable missile launcher. Ooh, the doll is good too. Uh, do I have anything else that triggers on doll? I don't have a lot. I can drop nuggets with it. Hmm. Well, let's see what this is. Oh, I grabbed it already. Okay, forget that. Um. Like, fruit actually is pretty considerable, because it's like a good panic button option if I start taking a lot of damage. And I can overheal with it, because I have Aegis. I may pick that up. Because right now I have- oh no, I don't want to be frozen! <laughs> right now I have enough damage output that I kinda don't need more damage. I'll probably grab the fruit after this wave. Oh boy, that's a lot of lasers. Let's take care of this. Yeah, I think we take the fruit, but we are hitting pretty hard as it is. Okay, we'll leave that guy alive for a sec and grab it. Give me the fruit. Well, I hate to leave my card behind, but 
It had to end someday. We got a lot of value out of it. I desperately want to see anything that gives me more critical rate, because that's even more bleeding power. Well, that's also more bleeding power. Not what I had in mind, but it works. Grenade's pretty good too. Getting rather powerful now. But you can never be overconfident, you can still die really fast. Well, the enemies are about to get a third item. I'm honestly actually... Oh, okay, what did they get? Stealth Kid is... I mean, it's not the best, but it's not that dangerous. Ouch. I just have to deal with them briefly going invisible when they get hurt. With all the explosions, it's not going to be too hard to find them anyway. Yeah, like, you can see how much damage output we have. We just sort of obliterated everything that we spawned. It's not common to do that on Monsoon. We're looking pretty good here. This power isn't going to carry us forever, but it'll probably get us through at least the next little bit pretty comfortably. That'll do it for this wave. Okay. We actually should probably consider if we want to use the Scrapper for anything. Um, hmm. I don't have anything that's, like, really actively working against me. Oh, there's a chest over there we can grab. That's useful. Oh, okay, hold on. There is a uh, printer for running fungus, which could be really good. So do we have any white items if we don't want? Uh, let's see. I don't really have anything that's too bad, honestly. Um, nothing sort of standing out to me as something I would definitely get rid of. Bad item. Oh, the recycler! Um, that's amazing. Okay, is there anything we want to recycle? 
Like, I don't keep this, I don't think, but we could use it for a little bit. Um, we could also trade for a razor wire, which is pretty good. Do we have any green items that are bad? Yes, let's turn the Hunter's Harpoon into a razor wire. I am fast enough, I just really don't need this. So let's make this into razor wire, because razor wire is good here. I don't actually know if there's anything really for me to recycle, unfortunately. But we'll certainly take that razor wire. I think we're just going to keep my foreign fruits. As much as I love the recycler, it's a very fun item. I don't think it's optimal right now. Okay, I don't see much else I think I could feasibly get to. Alright, let's just go. Well, goodbye card, you served me well. Okay, we're on Mithrix Arena. So, I hope you like seeing final boss stage enemies. That's all that spawns here. I see crit glasses in there. Oh boy, I hate Lunar Chimeras. Uh, we definitely want those critical glasses. Oh, I can't afford them yet. I'm not used to not having enough money for stuff. It doesn't happen often. Now I do. More critical glasses drastically increases my power here. Gotta be careful though, that's a lot of shots coming in. And these things actually hit pretty hard, even though they're generally not too hard to avoid. I guess the thing about them having Stealth Kid is because I do so much damage over time, they're usually not even going to get to activate it, because like they'll just immediately get burned down by the damage. That's a big box. Anything interesting? It's a green item. It's a band. That's solid. Oh, there's another card. That's interesting. I might actually go and grab it, just like, oh, hi there, to use on this stage. That's kind of funny. But then, if I guess if I leave my thing behind, are there even any other try shops? There's one way down there. Because if I leave my fruits behind, I might not be able to get back to it. Oh, I guess there was also the try shop that I already opened over here. But it didn't really have anything too fantastic in it besides the critical glasses. We're probably fine. We don't want to risk getting too greedy right now. We have a good setup. Uh, we don't want to do anything that could potentially jeopardize that. Let's just play smart. Okay, there's one item I could very easily grab here. There's the crash thing. It has a green item. Let's take the green item. It's another fuel cell. Well, we can just heal right now. So, this is probably obvious, but this mode goes on forever. My goal is sort of to get to level 50, uh, because one of the mods I have gives you an unlockable if you can make it to level 50. Um, I'll play as long as I can, but if we make it past 50, I'll be satisfied. I might even upload it if I don't make it to 50, because this run's been pretty good so far. But, uh, can I grab that safely? I guess I can. Yoink. Let's grab that money. Oh, uh, hey, there's a chest right there. And one right there. What was the other one? Ooh, more speed and a warhorn. Okay. So now I can activate my fruits to become really deadly as well. This warhorn makes you shoot faster after uh, using a use item. Although, honestly, I'm kind of getting to the point where I shoot so fast that I don't even know if it can get any faster. <laughs> is my uh, limiting factor now, not my shooting speed. Okay, we're coming up on another boss wave. 
You actually can fight Mithrix on this stage. It's rare, but it's possible. Now we got boss bullets right before the boss. Optimal play here. Oh boy. Well, at least there's no Mithrix. That is a lot of shots coming out, though. Well, they're no match for me. Just gotta watch that fire. I'm getting tons of what's called barrier health, which is the yellow part of my health bar. That's because I have the, the breach item. So every time I kill an enemy, I get a little bit of bonus health. And that's sort of like a second health bar. Okay, we want to be careful of that. That is a perfected elite. They are dangerous. That perfected Lunar Chimera is probably one of the few things that could still kill me here. Now that's quite an explosion. There's another perfected. It's dead though. The perfected elites inflict a status called Cripple, which is very dangerous, because uh, it reduces your armor, which makes you get hit harder by things. Oh, Wisp is really good. Okay, where are we going? This way, huh? I can probably just teleport over here and grab this. Like, I, that dash is now so fast, like, it's almost a teleport. Oh, that's more healing. Okay, there is um, a couple try shops over there. We'll see where this thing sets down. If it's like right in the middle, I might consider going back for that card. Where are we setting down? We are setting down in the middle. Interesting. Oh, can we set down, please? Come on. I can probably get the card, honestly. Yeah, I'm so fast. Give me that. I'm actually unreasonably fast at this point. Okay, let's get my shield back. Then we'll go run and grab those things. Come on. There it goes. Give me those. There's another set out there. Yeah, this is going to pay off for sure. Got launched in the air there unintentionally. Okay, let's get back here. I actually took a fair bit of damage doing that. Okay, I'm gonna get my shield back one more time, grab a couple more things. Oh, nice, try tip. Well, there's one more triple that we can grab right there, and then we'll proceed onwards. We're getting a lot of good stuff here. This is paying off quite significantly. I am so fast. Okay, I think there's actually... Is there one more down there? I thought I saw one more. There is one more. I can probably still make it. Okay. This is actually kind of crazy, but yeah, I'm still going to make it just fine. We'll go get back my freaks now. There it is. I'm so fast. It's like actually crazy. We'll probably grab this on the way. Oh, Crick Blast is amazing. Alright, let's go. Well, these guys aren't going to know what hit them now. I just picked up like 10 more items. But yeah, so speed is quite powerful in this mode. It lets you get a lot of free items. I'm feeling pretty good about us getting wave 50. This one's done. Okay.
This actually tends to be a relatively easy stage because of the lack of enemy variety. Like, we kind of know exactly what we're going to face each time. There also aren't any elites that are possible besides the protect protected ones. I can actually, like, constantly replenish my barrier by running now because of Aegis. Okay, this is actually going to require us to be careful. Those spike balls that fall from these enemies are actually pretty damaging. And we could spawn, like, a million of them if we kill a bunch of things at once. As long as we're sensible about where we kill things, it shouldn't be too bad, but... I don't want to take him down here. Look at all the spike balls, though. Too bad they can't hit the enemies. Okay, well, we live. I am not going to pick that up quite yet. Well, we could probably double jump it. Where are they? Oh no. That's where they are. Yeah, get out of here. Oops. Oh, that thing didn't die earlier. got the boss. What item are they going to get? It's going to be another green item. It's ukulele. That would be really scary in multiplayer. Thankfully, I'm playing alone. Goodbye, suckers. Oh, that was scary, but that was probably the worst of it over already. Actually, we've gotten pretty lucky with the items that the enemies have gotten. There's a lot of horrible things they can get. But ukulele does nothing because I'm the only target, so it can't bounce to anyone. My ukulele tried to come back for revenge after I dumped it for poly loot. Still not working. It's actually still not clear if it was the right choice, honestly. Ukulele still would have been doing a lot of damage, but... This one's going very well anyway. We have enough crowd control, probably. Well, this stage is done. One more to go. What's the last item? Ooh, another ATG. That's solid. Okay, I think I saw one more item out here somewhere when I was out here before, except I don't remember where it was. Oh well, we're not going to spend long looking for it. There it was. Because it'd be the dumbest thing ever to like get this far and then die. <laughs> well, there's one more item out there, and I think that was actually a red. Yeah, we just spawned a red, so that's pretty good. Okay, come on, give me my shield back. What red is it? It's Soulbound Catalyst. That's actually really good. That'll allow me to eat so much fruit. Alright, we'll just quickly get rich and then get out of here. Oops. Okay. Last stage, what's it gonna be? No, I mean, it's not the last stage if I win, but... 
It's the last stage I need to beat to get my unlock. It is Rally Point Delta. Oh no. They're back. Oh boy, I actually just took a hit. This is not a great place to be fighting in. It's so cramped. Yeah, this is not going to be a fun one. But it's fitting, I suppose, for the final challenge. That's the first wave done. Anything interesting out there? It's a couple boxes. Probably go run and grab one real quick. What do I want out of this? Ooh, I definitely want that gasoline. Okay, let's get back. Oh, not again. Well, that's what we got the gasoline for. Burn these things. Okay. That's how we want to start. I just have so much crowd control now. Like, you can already see how powerful this is. Now, imagine if I had had three times as many items as you would normally have had. Like, we just would have had this level of insurmountable power much earlier. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get frozen. This is bad. Okay, we got out. Gotta watch out for that. Oh my goodness, I'm so fast. I mean, I guess we can just go run and grab this, right? Why not? Another watch. More damage. I imagine it's probably almost impossible to even follow what's happening anymore. There's like things constantly exploding at this point. Who knows if you can even hear me over the game audio. Oh no. Yeah, I dodged the freeze. That is honestly going to be the main thing to watch out for at this point, is getting frozen. Another Opal's really good. To try a shot down there. What do we got? Um, okay, that's interesting. What's it spawning? Oh, I don't really like that. Let's get rid of these fast. These things do a lot of damage. But I do a lot of damage, too. Honestly, I'm kind of one of those now with how fast I shoot. It's like I stole their weapon. Uh, they're spawning something else big. Why is this taking so long? Oh, no. Well, we don't like this. This is the kind of thing where you could die. Yeah, those death explosions insta-kill you. We're just gonna stay a bit away from that. They're all gone. Let's not do that again. I can probably go help myself with one of these treasure chests. Which one, though? Um, oh, well, no, I guess I'm dealing with this first. Oh, that's a lot of them. Wow, the lag. Divine frame rate. Just throwing everything in the kitchen sink at me right now. All the bosses. Oh no, the freezing. At least it's all up in the air, so as long as I don't jump, I shouldn't get frozen. Ouch. Haha, <laughs> hi, it's Magma Worm. He's actually kind of tanking me. Oh, uh, no, he's not. Oh, there's another one. Okay, well, I'll take out this stuff first. <laughs> what is this wave? Ah, uh, well, is anything left alive? There's one more enemy somewhere. Can't even see him. There he is. Man, the delay on my ultimate feels so long now by comparison to everything else. Okay, we got another stealth kit. It, uh, I can't even see the focus. Okay, I'm on it. It pretty much has to go this way, because there's nowhere else it can go. 
Yep, we're heading down towards the main area. I guess I could pick that up. Okay, where are we going? Probably that way. It's gonna take a while to get there. Compared to me, this thing is not very fast. Oh, there's a chest right there. More health. There's a scrapper. In theory, I could scrap something and dump it in the um, that printer, get a soldier's wrench. But again, I think I fire fast enough. <laughs> I don't know if I could even use more movement speed or more attack speed. Ooh, hello, Deathmark. Speaking of things I can't use. I actually don't know if we have enough status to activate this. Uh, we do. I saw it activate on some people. Everything is exploding. Well, I feel like we're looking pretty good to make it to wave 50. The question is just how will they finally kill me? Oh, high chance chest. I'll probably like just end up killing myself doing a chance chest or something. It'll be a very anticlimactic finish. We'll try not to do anything too stupid until I get the way it's going to be. Well, this run really demonstrates the power of Shatter Spleen. You uh, want to pinpoint a moment in this run where my fortunes completely changed. That was it. All right, let's go touch the chance chest. Oh, actually, I lost track of where it was. So I'll have to do it next time. More speed. I have no idea if speed eventually caps. Not do that. Okay, where was that chance chest there? You know what? We'll take a band. Good enough. I can't stay up there for very long. Okay, this is the last wave, and crit glasses are about the best thing you can see going into it. What's it gonna be? Oh boy. Uh, it's gonna be enormous lag, is what it's gonna be. They got resonance disc, which is another item that's useless for them. I mean, if it had been Tesla coil, I would have just instantly died, but... I actually forget if they're allowed to get Tesla coil. They might actually not be. Well, we're looking pretty good. I 
It's said that things can always go wrong, but honestly at this point there's not that much that can still go wrong. There's only a few enemies left. We probably have those. This bro tender is not going to do anything, he needs dead. Four enemies between me and victory. Where are you, last enemy? Okay, so we made wave 50. I will go maybe to wave 60 and then I might call it. Um, because at a certain point, this is going to stop being interesting to watch. Because uh, it may eventually get to the point where there's just, oh boy, that's a crazily powerful item too. Where there's just like no realistic chance that I ever die and it stops being interesting. Okay, we'll take that. If that's good enough, let's just go. Total optimization is no longer required. Okay. Well, what do you got for me? Hey, this stage is hard. This is not guaranteed to be the freest of free wins. From here on out, we're basically just playing lag. Those things you have to be careful about, because those ants heal you. That's probably one of the biggest threats here. Oh, another ukulele. What's in here? Random green item. Proto bobble. That's solid. Makes it much easier to death mark enemies. In case I wasn't already powerful enough. Oh, did I have Credit Bobble already? Maybe I did. I mean, everything is just instantly melting at this point. These things can't even scratch me. somewhat threatening thing I've seen in a while. Oh, we're starting to get Malachites. Or maybe these are Celestials, I don't know. The two special elites, anyway. That was a big jump. I just do such unimaginable damage. Those bosses die instantly. Oh, well, there goes the frame rate again.
guess I could grab this chest. I don't even really need these anymore. Oh, whoops. I guess I should be good dealing with this. Oh boy, the frame rate. Well, everything's dead already. The game kind of just falls apart at this point. <laughs> a little bit too much going on. Even the bosses just cannot survive for more than a second. Goodbye, frames. We'll miss you. Well, you can see what I was talking about at the beginning with you eventually get to an insurmountable level of power. And this is even with my mod. I'm still just far too powerful. This is honestly starting to give me a headache due to all the frame drops, so I'm not to be able to keep this up too much longer. More gasoline, just so we need more frame drops. That's the real enemy at this point. Oh, there's another one of these. Why not? We can always have more chaos. It's not like I've needed the form fruits in forever. Oh my goodness, another one of these? I am just unstoppable now. You guys came into the wrong neighborhood. Oh, hi. I wonder what the last time I even took real damage was. Well, we get this. Oh, do I see the rusty lockbox? Oh no, that's just treasure chest. Yeah, now every time I kill an elite, I get a little friend. So we can have even more lag. It's another tri-tip. Alright, what's this use item? I'll take it, whatever it is. It's the doll, because we need more lag. We just throw it out and uh, destroy the frame rate even more. I wonder how many years it'll take before people have computers that can run this with no slowdown. <laughs> My machine is pretty good. It was able to keep up with this nonsense for a pretty long time. items up there. It's a big box. Anything good? It's a green item. It's more red whip because we definitely aren't fast enough yet. Oh, oops. Oh well, the one thing that could actually potentially kill me is falling off the stage. <laughs> but even that doesn't do enough damage.
Or like some nonsense evolving invisibles, maybe? Well, that was 58. Like I said, I'll go to 60. We'll see if anyone can stop me. Oh, whoops, I fell off the stage again. <laughs> this is not intentional throwing, I'm just uncontrollably fast now. I literally, like, almost teleport when I use my dash, especially with all the frame drops. Like, oh my god, what is even happening? I'm sure this ceased to be watchable some time ago. The reason I'm, like, so uncontrollable right now is also because I've got Wax Quail, so if I jump on this, like, uh, slow bit launches me like crazy. Well, this is it. What they're gonna try to use to stop me is a million souls probes. Didn't work. Now we're gonna clog up the whole game with cups. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm just steaming at stuff. I think it's over. Yeah, we win. I got another razor wire. I think that's gonna be it. Like, I could keep going and I might eventually die, but there's a good chance it could be on, like, like wave 100 or something, which would just take hours. Plus, like, I don't know how much more of that second play before I'm gonna get a really bad headache. We are on top of the world, um, and that's probably enough for now. Thanks for watching. Here's my crazy load out of items.